Hello, everyone. My name is Al Jennings of Boston, Massachusetts, and this lesson is for week two of the Introduction to Music Production. This week, I will be giving a tutorial on comping, also known as compiling. This is taking tracks that have been previously recorded and putting them together. Uh, comping is recording multiple takes of the same recording, then finding the best parts for each of the takes and combining them together. Many DAOs in the market have the ability to cut and paste or have a comping feature. I will be using Persona Studio One in today's lesson. In this tutorial, I will be using a MIDI track of drums and two recordings of a bass lick. Each of the bass tracks have errors in them. We will find where these errors are and find a better placement for them. First, we are going to build a third mono track, but being that there is no inputs, we will leave it as default, no inputs. This will keep you from accidentally recording over your work or picking up feedback uh, from your system and an open mic. Now, I've already recorded these bass tracks and I've already broken them into pieces uh, for the which part that I want. Um, so, firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to use the range tool. Uh, you can also do this with other ways. Uh, break it apart. Of, for example, you could take this part here and break it out and drop it down into another section. Uh, obviously, I don't want this part, so we're not going to use that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll grab, uh, first off, um, you can also uh, grab the other tools this way. What we're going to do is we're going to grab these first two parts. You can either highlight both of them and pull them down, uh, or you can select them uh, with other keys. So I wanted these two parts. I want this part in this area here, and I like the rest of this track. So what we'll do is I'm going to select both of these, uh, you can do a control or a shift and click both or select them both and drag them down. Uh, so now I have the tracks that I want at this point here. Uh, now also this is kind of uh, outside of the, uh, the tutorial, but what we're going to do is I'm going to use the fade at the end because there's a lot of volume at the end. It doesn't slowly fade off. Uh, so let's take a quick listen, mute these out and give it a play. We'll bring it back to the beginning and here we go. Now, there doesn't seem to be any clicking going on in, uh, between those tracks. Uh, usually, we'd use a crossfade to actually uh, correct anything in that area, but uh, it doesn't look like we need it here. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do is uh, just take a piece here. Now, for an example, if you wanted to loop just a piece of this, um, say you got to play a part over and over again, and uh, but you found one good one, what you can actually do is uh, just take and copy one of these sections and then um, basically just select it. Uh, I'm going to click on the time track here and move it over. So now that you have two of the identical pieces here, so if you play it, so you get the same part over and over. Um, this is very helpful uh, if you do a, a very repetitive line. Um, so that will kind of help you out at that point. Uh, we'll go back to the way it was. And... Uh, so that's pretty much how you do the comping. Uh, there's multiple ways of doing this. Uh, this is just one of the, the simple ways I've done it uh, in the past. It's very easy for me. So uh, I'll just play a full loop here. And uh, so you can take a listen to it. Again, I don't hear any clicking tracks going on. Yep, that was pretty smooth. So again, my name is Al Jennings of Boston, Massachusetts. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. Please uh, leave some feedback, and uh, everybody have a great and wonderful day. Go Berkeley.